Hey everybody, it's Coco Noel, and I know I've been MIA. We've been trying to work with a new um, editing program. Found out we didn't have enough RAM or ROM. Had to add that. Still having difficulties because it's an online program. So this will be very coarsely edited. I'm just going to try to film this and pop it up there. So today we're doing Wonton Wednesday. It's a collaboration started by Vicky's Country Home. And she's got some fantastic recipes. Hope you go over there. I'll try to hook an eye link over there to her or put it in my description box below. But there's a whole bunch of folks participating. And if you would like to, there's a couple more weeks we're running this. Now, savory or sweet, um, you would not believe all the creative things folks have come up with. So I'm going to attempt a pierogi of sorts. These are all filled with a... A loaded mashed potato and cheese cube and I'm going to try boiling some and steaming some and I'll show you how I put this together last night I uh, used some ham broth and steamed some potatoes and then afterwards my filling it's pretty simple I used no fat cream cheese I didn't add any butter and I used some of the broth to liquefy the potatoes instead of cream green onions there are three kinds of other cheese in here and bacon bits so let's see how and then maybe some steak seasoning salt and then what i'm going to do is use velveeta for some creamier cheese so this is kind of a five cheese pierogi and these are wonton noodles you can get them square round you can get them bigger to make egg rolls and these were simply found in the refrigerator section at the grocery store. They give you tips on how to use them. And uh, very simple. So probably these will be steamed for 10 minutes. And all I did was, I think it's easier too to do this part first. Wet your edge. That becomes your glue. I'm going to put a little dollop of this loaded mashed potato in there some cheese it can be a little bit sticky to make these but i think kids would love to help you with this mom so think about that i'm all for kids helping so my uh boiling wontons are going to make this way or pierogies but the steamed ones i'm going to fortify the edges a little bit more so they're little pockets like that and really, my goal is to create something soft for my father-in-law. He's been having difficulty uh, with chewing bigger cuts of meat. So there's just minced bacon in there or soft noodles. Can't go wrong. And actually, to mimic noodles, I shredded some cabbage. And I'm going to shred some carrot, a little leaker there. Just make that cute little pocket. You'll see that these are pretty fun to work with. And right now I've got that ham broth coming to a boil. I uh, looked things up online to make steamed dumplings. Typically takes 10 minutes. So I'll show you. Oops, that was a big spill. Maybe that extra water will help. Vicky's got some incredible wontons going on over there. Hope you all can go visit her site. Don't need too much cheese. These are going to explode with flavor. Tell you what, though, if you overwater your noodle, it's slippery. Thank you. 
they cute? Probably still a little bit big to be considered bite size. Now, one thing to consider with these wonton noodles is they will dry out. So if you're going to do big batching. You might want to consider a damp paper towel to put over your open noodles. Okay, I'll be right back when we turn these into soup. Actually, I can show you this step here. I've created some shredded cabbage, and I'm going to do some more. These are kind of a, an alternative to noodles, too. Just some crunchy cabbage. And I want to do... Some carrots too. Add those. I put a pretty large um, shredding blade in there. Got my hand broth boiling. It smells delicious. You like this? It's, I think this is a genius shredder. Got it off of QVC, probably. I find the information. I'll put that in a link for you. But it comes with several blades. I rarely use this one, but um, it did very well, I think, for this cabbage. Okay, so this is going to go in my broth. I'll be right back. I don't want to oversteam the camera, so I'm going to dump in my cabbage and carrot mix. Get that going. Gonna be good. It smells delicious. I do have some steak seasoning in there already. I think I'm gonna add some minced onion just because I'm too lazy to chop some onion. Probably add about a tablespoon. Have you ever had a pierogi? You can get them in the frozen section. We're lucky that we have. A Czechoslovakian baker that comes to our farmer's market and she makes frozen pierogies that are the real deal. I'll let that come back up to temp. I'm going to start dropping these in even though it's not boiling yet. Now, what I like to do with the standard pierogi is bring them to a boil, let them cool, and refrigerate them. And then later, um, I like to fry them in a little oil to get that caramelization. Okay, so those are those. Uh, we're good there. This is going to come up pretty quickly. Now to steam. I have this nice little unit from Wolfgang Puck. It's got rings and extender rings and dividers. And in this case, I'm going to use the steaming rack. Sorry about the noise. This makes it a double decker. I'm going to put in my steam rack and to keep those pockets from falling through all the way, just created a couple little cabbage 
these to protect them. Well, this is going to be a fun recipe to try out. piece we'll see that holds up okay we'll bring this up to a boil And we'll be right back. Okay, sounds like it's ready to unveil. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, look at those cute little <laughs> They're all puffy. Hopefully the camera won't get a little bit fogged up here. I'm going to try to just lift these on the cabbage leaf. Oopsies, don't fall apart on me. They look good. Boy, they expand, don't they? Glad I put those on the cabbage beds because these are pretty flimsy. Oopsies, let's see if I can do this. They stuck together. Family fellows. Let's get a two for here. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm gonna remove that. Now typically for a boiled dinner or something with pierogies, um, I use a Old Bay seasoning, but I was out. But lucky for me, over at Teaser's Pleaser, she gave a recipe to make your own. So I had all the ingredients and I assembled those and I'll try to put Teaser's link in here too. But in addition, I added tahine. This has a heavy citric back note so it's almost like there's dehydrated lemon in there or lime and it's also very peppery which i like so i made my own here we'll see how this turns out here's the steamed dumplings I'll just spritz a little bit on top all right and then I'm going to sprinkle some in here. And what I'll do is I'll get out one of those pierogi, wonton pierogies. Let's see how it holds together. All right, I think that's one. <laughs> Let's see how we do. Not bad. I carry it all up inside the fold. So this is a nice soft little noodle. I would say 10 minutes was sufficient. All right. And then I'm going to have mine with the cabbage broth and ham and carrots. And this will be my dinner tonight. So um, keep in mind, we have a couple more weeks of this left i think if you want to participate um just comment below add a link we'll add you to the playlist or you can go directly over to vicky's country home and participate in hers since she originated this 
And show her some love. Vicky's been so terrific in the YouTube community. And Miss Vicky is having a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. So for those of you who like to can, up for grabs are an all-American can, no, not an all-American canner, a Presto canner. And then I can't remember which brand of steam bath, but you can pick. And it's only for folks that live in, I think, the contiguous USA. She researched all sorts of ways to try to do this, you know, with other countries outside of the country. And unfortunately, uh, her time did not yield any fruitful answers. It was just too expensive. So Vicky's Country Home is where you need to go if you want to be a subscriber and enter in that contest to win. All right, this is Coco Noel signing out. And thank you for all your support, folks. I really appreciate it. Sorry I've been MIA, but I'm back in the saddle again. Thank you. Bye-bye.